Hi, it's Christy here from Adapted, and I wanted to show you how it is that I use Google Docs to have my students make um, shopping lists for themselves. So I don't know about you, but most of my students are not fully independent with being able to read. So if I want them to go to the store with a shopping list, unless it's a visual shopping list, they're going to be a little bit lost. So if I am giving them um, words, I want them to be able to do this somewhat independently, okay? So especially if they're going to be finding a recipe online, we need to get them to be a little bit more independent when it comes to the store. So the way that I work up on this is doing these um, recipe, these shopping lists like this, okay? So one of the things that I teach very strongly in the beginning of the year is keyboard shortcuts. And so I want my kids to be as tech savvy as possible. So we all, we use Chromebooks and I need them to be able to copy and paste and do different things. So um, that's what we'll be doing here. So what they do is they have to click and highlight this. Then they're going to click Control C. Then they're, if I want them to add a picture here, like I did for banana, they can't read that this is X. Or maybe that one's pretty easy. But anyways, if what we're going to be doing is that we're going to have them go to Insert Image. And then they're going to be able to find that it says eggs. Okay. So let's do that again. So most of my kids would not be able to read that this has potato chips. So let's have them highlight that. Control C. Click here so that the image goes here instead of there. Insert image. Make sure that they're on search. Okay. So if you go by, you just click search here. It's the end one. Paste it in, control V, and then they can pick which one of which picture of potato chips that they like. Insert there. And then the last thing on their list for today is apples. Um, again, they don't really know that it says apples until they go here, control V. Oh, it's apples. Okay. And then, hmm, I like this picture. Okay, so that is the way that I have my kids um, create visual shopping lists. I hope you enjoy it. And if you're looking for a way to be able to teach your kids those um, keyboard shortcuts, I'll add a link below. Um, I do use visual supports to be able to teach that skill. So I'll link that in for you. Okay.